A North Jersey mural is causing controversy and may soon be removed. The artist says she volunteered to do it to unite people in the town. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner is live in Clifton with the details. Lisa. Yeah, that's right, Andre. And I'm standing in front of that mural. We're here on Allwood Road underneath the Garden State Parkway. And ironically, you might be able to see the theme of this mural was use your voice. But now we're going to show you what this was originally supposed to look like. Fists of all skin colors side by side. But residents here in Clifton tell me that when the artist began painting that first fist, which was a darker skin tone, that's when there were some complaints to the city that this mural was politically motivated. The artist then changed two of the fists into hands, making a heart, and two other fists became a handshake. But the artist did not change the black fist, so the city manager had it painted over with a white box. Now, the city manager told me, quote, the fist is what triggered the controversy, but whether it's a black or white fist, they both idealize the same, and it's not whether I want them, it's what I can allow under my purview as the city manager and quote the city manager did give permission for the artist and her friends to paint this mural telling me initially because he thought it was a positive message the artist and her friends volunteered and even had supplies donated she also posted this video on Instagram about the situation recently this mural celebrates our town and all the opportunities that were given to us rather than communicating with me they have resorted to emails, threats, and one-sided harassment while we painted. Now, it turns out that this underpass is property of the Turnpike Authority, which runs the Garden State Parkway. A spokesperson says the agency does not allow paint on any of its bridges. Therefore, this mural must come down. This Wednesday, there is a Clifton City Council meeting to discuss the future of the mural and where it may be moved to. We're live in Clifton, New Jersey. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.